So here it is, Arsenal's 21-22 home kit. I ordered it on Friday when it was released and I received it on Sunday. So uh, before it melts inside the packaging, let's uh, let's get this bad boy open and see what, uh, see what we've got inside. Wow. This is the one. Right now, which one do I go for first? Do I go for the standard or the authentic one? Do you know what? I'm going to go for the standard first. Let's see what we've got inside here. I think it's always difficult with football kits whether to go for the traditional style every year or go for something crazy and in the past I actually quite liked the side panels on previous kits it was never the best kit I don't think in Arsenal's history but the side panels always gave it a different touch and obviously I know a lot of people have said there's a there's a big Ajax look to this particular kit but do you know what I wasn't really sold on it at first and there's no pictures even with the players having worn it in the game against Rangers this weekend I wasn't quite sold on this kit but seeing it in real life in the shop yesterday um, in the flesh and of course now having it right in front of my eyes knowing that it, this is actually my shirt it has really really grown on me the navy gives it a nice little touch and it's different something different we haven't had a kit like this for a while one thing i did see was a picture on the internet of the sleeve accidentally rolled up and i do wonder if that actually looks better <laughs> with the with the cuff up sort of folded out or if the if the kit whether it has the the red and blue or the navy i don't know what's better but i think that one looks a bit stronger yeah i absolutely love this it's definitely grown on me. It's got a nice cool feel to it. The badge looks good. The collar looks good. The Adidas stripes on the shoulders looking good. And uh, yeah, Emirates fly better. Looking good. Side panels, very much like Ajax, like we said, but still good, aero ready. And of course, I think one thing to, to point out, not to get political or to, to bring any sort of any anything up that we don't necessarily want to talk about or things that we should be talking about but i think the arsenal for everyone initiative on this on these on this year's particular kits i think are very important arsenal for everyone embracing diversity and equality i absolutely love that i think it's a very strong message for the club from the club and for the brand and for arsenal and adidas and everything so yeah very very happy with that so this is the standard I'm a huge fan of this kit definitely grown on me size large as well so hopefully I'm gonna fit into it <clears throat> talk about that another time though obviously visit Rwanda on the sleeve as well in Navy can't be it really I don't think yeah very happy now let's move on to the uh authentic one so here is the authentic i'm going to do another video to show the differences between both the standard and the authentic kits the replica and the authentic but um for now this will do i love the details of the collar and obviously everything being heat pressed. Cool badge, cool Adidas logo, and the Adidas stripes. Feeling very fresh. Extra added detail on the on the cuff as well. Same as the collar, which isn't on the standard, but yeah. Visit Rwanda again there. Emirates fly better. And oh look. 
Premier League badge. Which means I got someone on the back. Question is, can you guess who I got on the back? Is heat ready? The authentic licensed product for the 21-22 season. Some cool detail there. And one of my favorite parts of the shirt is the victory through harmony. Victoria Concordia Crescent. The question is guys, who did I get on the back? Let's find out. Bukayo Saka. It was only ever gonna be this guy based on the Euros he had with England. It was only ever going to be this guy that I was going to get on the back. I'm very, very happy with that. Number seven as well. Very big number in Arsenal's history. Plenty of players. An endless list of Arsenal legends and heroes that have worn this number. So the weight is very heavy, but I'm pretty sure our boy, star boy, can, can handle it. And he will do. He already did for England in the on the international stage performing at the Euros the way he did so let's just hope he can bring that back to the Arsenal but yeah absolutely love this I'm very happy with my purchases there you go can't beat it 